okay so welcome back to let's play forbidden siren it's been a very long time like almost a year now since i last uh recorded this game i actually was recording this game a few days ago but uh audio levels were real screwy so yeah i had to re-record so today we're gonna go back to akirishimura's um uh day one at 6 p.m i, I believe that is 6 p.m yeah um we're gonna go back here because uh, we already got mission one and mission two already done, but we need to go back here because there is something important we need to get. So, yeah. We already saw that, so there's no need to see it again. Uh, he just sees uh, Yuriko and he's like, yeah, so many strangers or something like that. I don't remember. Uh, so, what we need to do is actually very obscure... But uh, luckily, the the game will give us a hint um, hint to unlock another stage. Uh, hide Yuriko in a special place, and I'll show you that special place. Now, uh, it's the same thing as before. We just need to take out these two Shibitos here that are being assholes to Yuriko. So, one and two. And the snipers will always see her, but of course she'll always outrun them because she's like freaking Sonic the Hedgehog, and yeah. <laughs> So just help run them. We do want to take out two snipers over there because, yeah, they could prove our escape kind of troublesome. Does that even make sense? Prove our escape kind of troublesome. I, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, we want to go over here because um, this is a good vantage point to take out one of the snipers. We don't want to hurry, though. Come on. God, this stupid. There you go. Uh, yeah, we do want to hurry because. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, we do want to hurry because there is an old lady Shibito making her way over here to Eureka. Uh, we want to take out the sniper over here first. And like an idiot, he misses. <laughs> Oh wow, and then I miss. Stupid lady. Come on. No, don't hide. Come here. <laughs> yeah, let's reload. Just in case. Alright. Come on, Yuriko. So, where we gotta hide her is over here where, like, these cottages are at. Um... Move! <laughs> yeah, we gotta hide over here. These houses are at over here. In between this little cubby space right here. Tell her to hide and she'll find something for that we need to use for another level. Yeah, see, Tamon Takauchi, day 2, 10 p.m., requirements for mission objective 2 fulfilled. Alright, so, let's just, uh, beat the level. Let's get out of here. Well, looks like we can climb our way up here. Ah, uh, well, I don't want to go that way, Yuriko. Come on. Yeah. So, this, yeah, I mean, this is pretty simple stuff. You just need to go and get that photograph. That's it. And we'll make our way to the exit, same as before, use her as a decoy. This part I still find a little tricky sometimes, because sometimes it doesn't always work 100%. Oh, I'm tired. Shit. <laughs> but yeah, this part could be a little tricky. I'll act as decoy, but don't shoot me. Yeah, see, like, he probably would have shot. <laughs> I wouldn't have been surprised if we shot each other. I mean, that happens sometimes. Come on, let's go. Alright, so. Now we can go to the level we really want to go. You know, the the meat of this episode will be the next two um, missions or levels, whatever. Uh, no, we will not save. Uh, stage select. Alright. 
So where we want to go to next is Taimon Takeuchi's uh, day two at 10 p.m. Uh, day. Oh, that level. Yeah, uh, we'll go there in a few. I don't think it's going to be in this episode, but we'll get there. So as you see, um, uh, mission objective two, you could you could already done without the mission critical item, but now that we have it, we can actually um, actually complete it. I don't even know if I made sense with that sentence. Uh, what I meant was, Mission Objective 2, it, it says you could already do it, but you can't do it without that item, which is that photograph we got uh, just a minute ago. What do you mean? Yeah, I think we saw this already. The Eureka gets shot. So there's Mission Objective 2. Remember, Akira Shimura. I'm wondering how the hell do we do that? Well, to be honest, it's actually kind of the same. This just the same as Mission Objective One. You just need that photograph. That's it. Just take out Akira Shimoda, which is the sniper, and that's it. And the the rest just plays out on its own. It's all right. <laughs> You're gonna die. I feel... I feel a bit strange. Yuriko. Am I going to die? Or, or, or will I turn into a monster as well? <laughs> oh... Yuriko, your body can't take any more red water. The child, is it you, Professor? This is... I'm gonna get him. Stay here. Alright, faded photo of Akira Shimura. It's been added to the archive. Okay, so another one of those automatic archive items. So yeah, we can't do anything about those. Like I said before, w when we finish uh, the game, I'll show you where all the archive items are. So, yeah. And there's, um, Eureka with the... Kind of a weird pink face. And I can hear a flying Shibiru. So we sidejack those guys because those are the two criti <laughs> mission critical guys. Uh, Flying Shibido is not mission critical, but um, he can prove to be a pain. I don't remember, but I think there is Spider Shibido over here. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think we really need to go in there. <laughs> Please don't. There might be an archive item in there. Like, I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but... I'm sure there is, but we don't really need to go in there. So, yeah, same thing as before. Um, actually, we want to go across the bridge this time because... Um, there is something we do need to get in this level that I think I forgot last time. And it's right over here where the shrine is at. Which, um... What, what is the map button for this again? I can't remember. Oh, right, there it is. Uh, small shrine. You see that little glowing spot on the map? That's where... Uh, there's an item there that we need to get for a later level so we need to go there which is not too far it's just across the bridge of course uh, go across the drawbridge before you set it on fire it's just easier this way because if we go over here we'll find a hose it's more like a snake but it's a hose as you see day two 
Mission Objective 2 already fulfilled. Requirements for it are fulfilled. Alright. So we'll meet that later. Now that we got it, you know, we can do Mission Objective 2 now. Okay, so now we can set the bridge on fire. And then we can take out the sniper. And that will be it for this level. Putting all this back into it, the like, dude just tilt the can over, just pour it out. Don't need to throw your back out. <laughs> there you go. So now we need to defeat the sniper. Easy enough. Uh, I do want to take care of that flying Shibito first because. Well, wow. uh, actually, never mind. He's being an idiot. He's going over there. Do need to wait for him to turn. There you go. Let's go. It should only take six shots to take him out, so I should have enough. Let's do this. There you go. Oh, no, my battery's low. Ah, oh, you jerk! Come on! Damn it! There you go. I think I got like three uh, shots in there. Yeah, but that could be easily done if you just keep shooting them consistently. Just for safe measures, let's just reload another round in there. We're at Akira. Where are you? Should be able to sneak up on him. There you go. <laughs> And that's it, Mission Objective 2 is done. There you go. Is that one? Mr. Shimura? Is that you? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty screwed up. All right, so on to the next level, which I believe it will be a new level. Yep, with Shiramiyata at midnight, day two. Oh, this level is a joy. I love it. I'm in death. <laughs> Don't! Stop that! Stop laughing! Stop! No! <laughs> yeah. So, Risa is a uh, Shibito now? Um. Like, I don't think the game really does a very well job of s explaining how she became a Shibito, but we'll, we'll get to there when we get to there. Alright, so defeat Mina Onda, which is actually her sister.
Just leave me alone. <laughs> All right, so right away, just beat the crap out of her. This game gives you no time. She's just right there in your face. So a little tidbits about Risa. Um, she's very fast. Uh, very slow when walking, but when she sees you, she's pretty fast. And also, she has a quick recovery time. So hurry up. Also, we want to switch the hammer because that's just stronger. All right, so some spider should be to here. Ow. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, so there's a locked door here. I, I believe it's this door, or it's this one here. Uh, yeah, we can't get in there. We need uh, Risa to actually open it. And she will, as long as... Uh, She's not alerted to our presence. We'll be fine. So we're gonna go in here and we'll just hide in the bathroom. And wait for her to go by and break that door. Alright, so that person you saw there, that is actually Mina. She is in the basement of this hospital. So you see that machine there? We actually need it. So she already broke it into that room we need. Uh, we couldn't get into. So yeah, that's that's all fine and dandy. We can actually wait for her to go by, or we could beat the crap out of her. I think we'll beat the crap out of her. Ah! <laughs> Get out of here. This is my clinic. So yeah, we do need this, um... I forgot what it was called. It is some sort of heavy medical device. EEG machine, alright. The yeah, brainwave machine. And she's already back up. Shut up. Alright, so we really don't have much business to do in these bathrooms. Um, there's the basement here. Um, we can't open it yet. Uh, oh shit, that actually scared me. <laughs> Get out of the way. Ah. Alright, um, let's just keep going. Something heavy is blocking the door, but it seems like you could open it. No, don't shout. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the basement is locked. We need to go get the key and the brain of this level is actually Mina We don't really want to kill her right away because that is the mission objective and doing that will end the level and There is some other stuff. We do need to do here real quick. Uh, I don't believe we could get into the cells. No, we can't uh, There is a pretty important item over here from what I remember Yeah Right here. It's the fluorescent light bulb Yeah. We do need that, and there should be a spider shabito right here. Oh, come on. Bugger off. Out of the way. Move. Yeah, that, I think that was Risa. She's very slow when she's not alerted to your presence. All right. So we go this way. Now, um, right here is a chute. Uh, right, um, where the hell am I? Uh, right outside here near, um, where the hell is it? It's near uh, doctor's office. <laughs> I'll just say that. It's near doctor's office. Uh, there's a little chute right here. Now, 
we are supposed to drop things down there, but we don't want to just yet. Do not make the same mistake I did on a previous recording. <laughs> where I forgot to open the bottom hatch. Oh, well, it looks like we can't even open it at all. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, never mind, because uh, on the other side is this guy. As you see, it's a sniper shimitu. And he is a... Uh, he's critical. Uh, you do need to take him out so that... Another uh, another character could get get to the courtyard later on unscathed because yeah if he's there he's just gonna take you out but we can't go through there for some reason yeah I'll come back to me it's all right I'll remember anyway so if we go over here uh, we find I think it's the bathroom key or the basement key yeah key to the basement all right cool key to the basement bathroom keys in the basement that's right so we we'll find the key to the basement and we'll make our way back so the light bulb and the EEG machine um, just ignore that for now we will need to use it later Spire Shibidu where are you there you are come on stop it Yeah, and there's Risa, and for some reason she will always gets stuck in that area. It it's it has to do with the door there. See, she's alerted, but she can't get out. Even on the PS2 version, I think it does that. I don't know why. It just does. All right. So I do think, yeah, we do need to unlock this door here. It's the bathroom to the. It's the men's bathroom. Got the keys in the basement, so we gotta go down the basement and get it. There you go. This is a little creepy area. So Mina is down here in a boiler room. In that room. <laughs> but uh, we don't want to go in there just yet. You want to go in here and get this key to second floor men's toilet. All right. Is this door open? Nah, I don't. I don't think you could open it. Is here. Yeah. All right. So we go back to the second floor. Here we are, and we unlock the door. And as you see, uh, Tamon Takoshi Day 2 for Mission Objective 2 requirements were filled. So there's really nothing for us to do in here, it's just for Tamon. But she will come here later. And I believe uh, there's a key in the grating here, or it might be on the first floor, but you'll see what we need to do here when we get here. <laughs> It's real con uh, contrived. <laughs> it's a real contrived way of getting a key, actually. <laughs> but yeah, we'll go back down to the basement, and there is one more thing we need to get. Mina's in here. And we go over here, we go into the mortuary. And we need to open this coffin up. Here's where the hammer comes into play. That's not how we open it, but... Yeah, the coffin has been nailed shut. We will remove the nails with the back end. Easy stuff. Those are some large nails. There is a coffin. <laughs> yes. Open coffin lid.
There is a human shaped object wrapped in vinyl sheeting. Yep. I don't know what exactly this thing is, but it's there. <laughs> Pull out steak. Yeah, we need to take that steak. We need to use it. We're going to have to use this way later. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, on um, day three, way, way later, for K Makino. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it will move again. Okay, you're all right. Well, screw this place very much. Let's go and get Mina. Mina! There she is. And she has like... Uh, things on her face. I'm not gonna say what the hell they look like, but yeah Use your imagination <laughs> There you go real easy uh, Mina is actually the strongest should be in the freaking game uh, She has the most health and she deals the most damage. So be very careful when approaching her But yeah, that, that was it. I mean that's it for today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, until then